Hello loves, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. So this makeup look is actually the start of the week to my Halloween makeup look week. I am so excited to share this with you. So today I decided to create this fairly simple like mystic look. I quite like that I am now Mystic Meg. <laughs> My bedroom does not look Halloween-y whatsoever, but I am ready to go, so let us start. So I first started with simply moisturising my face, I've got to keep my skin hydrated with all the makeup that I'm going to pile on top of it. I then wanted to add foundation but I wanted my skin to look fairly pale, I am quite pale at the minute anyway, but I used my Too Faced foundation which when you pump it out actually looks darker than your skin but when I blend it in it actually makes me look pale so I'm not too sure how that works but I just blended that all over my face with a brush. To make myself look that even more paler, I then took my Tarte Shape Tape. This is too light for me. I don't know why because, I, again, I am really pale at the minute and at one point this was fine. But, yeah, I blended that underneath my eyes. I then took my very broken Rimmel powder and set my whole face. I really wanted my skin to be very matte for this look. I used a bit of bronzer to carve out my cheekbones. I didn't want to look too bronzy because I wanted to look pale, but I definitely wanted my cheekbones to be quite stood out. <laughs> For brows, I just did my everyday brows. I just used the Benefit pomade and I lined the top and the bottom. I then use a little spoolie, whatever they are called, to then colour the top like front bit of your brow so that they aren't ridiculously harsh. And then to colour in any bits that I've missed, I will just use the Benefit brow pencil that matches the little set and then I will use concealer to neaten up anywhere where I've gone wrong because I always tend to overline by accident. And then after I've done that, I will simply use the brow gel to set that all into place so that those boogers do not move. After doing all of my base, I like to just spritz my face with a nice refreshing mist so that my skin doesn't feel stupidly dry. I then move on to the subculture palette to start my eyes. So I first go in with the shade Mercury which is this sort of dark brown and I put that all through my crease and also underneath my eye. You can go with any colours you like, but I decided to go a bit purpley red, so I then took the shade All Star and put that through my crease also. To blend that all together, I then went in to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and used the shade Bon Fresco. Sorry if I've said that wrong. <laughs> Then from the same palette, I used Veteran Red and put that all over my lid with my finger. Going back into Subculture, I took the shade Cube, which is like this iridescent colour, it's gorgeous. I put that on the inner corners of my eye to lighten it up a bit and also on my brow bone. I 
I then added mascara and yeah this is what it currently looks like a little bit of a mess but I like it I then started to add all of the designs all over my face I just used a black eyeliner and literally just went ham with it I took inspiration from a design that I found on Pinterest I'm not sure who the girl was but I just really really liked it I also mixed it up a little bit and started to add white because I really wanted to again mix it up a bit and I think white looks wicked I think it turned out really well but the eyeliner I'm using for the white is the NYX one this is one that I stand by I've used it for so long and it's lasted me so long too moving on to lips I took this deep red by Colourpop it's one of their liquid lips so it dries up completely matte I really recommend these they are so good So to darken my lips up a little bit, I took the shade All Star from the Subculture palette which I used on my eyes and put that in the middle of my lips. I then used the shade Cube which went on my tear duct and put that over the top and this is how it turned out. I'm so happy with it. I honestly think it would be so easy to recreate. Anyone would be able to do this. I would wear an off the shoulder black dress with this just so you know. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in my next one.